In this tutorial, I'll guide you through installing Boris FX Sapphire in After Effects. Start by opening your browser and going to the official Boris FX website at borisfx.com. Once you're there, hover over Products at the top of the page, then hover over Sapphire and click on Full Suite. This will give you the option to download a free trial, which installs the Boris Hub app to manage all Boris FX plugins in one place. But instead of using Boris Hub, I'll show you another way to directly install Sapphire without needing an extra app. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, under the Support section, and click on Downloads. After that, look for the Legacy Downloads option and click on it. Now, in the Product section, choose Sapphire. Under Host, select Adobe, and in the Platform, choose your operating system. Once you've selected those, click on the first result that appears, which will be the latest version of Sapphire. You'll see a blue download button. Click on it to start the download. Once the download is finished, locate the installer in your downloads folder and run it. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the software and choose your preferred location for the installation. Now, let's check if Sapphire was installed correctly in After Effects. Open After Effects and create a new composition by clicking on New Composition and selecting your desired settings. Before using the Sapphire plugins, you'll need to adjust a setting. Go to the top bar and click Edit, then select Preferences. In the Preferences menu, go to Scripting and Expressions. Make sure that the option Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network is enabled. This ensures that all the plugins work properly. Now, go to the Effects and Presets panel in After Effects. In the search bar, type S underscore to search for the Sapphire plugins. You should now see all the Sapphire effects available to use. That's it. You've successfully installed Sapphire in After Effects.